and this is Kate. In this video, I show you what is in BuyFeedbacks campaign. In the BuyFeedbacks campaign, you can configure your personal scans here. Start frequency and finish frequency here. This define the range of frequencies in your input sweep. If you know the bandwidth of organisms you are looking for, you can enter its lower and upper limits here. The default number is 76,000. The finish frequency is 152,000. As the frequency of most pathogens are in this range, initial step size defines the sub ranges to divide the sweep, and the user guide shows how to calculate the initial step size. Decimal places it is the level of accuracy you want. The more decimals, the more scan time. Max heat to find. Each hit you find will take 3 minutes to treat, so entering 20 means that your results will take 60 minutes to apply in contact or plasma mode. Samples step. The samples here are heartbeats. Set to 1, frequencies will be checked at about 1 every second. Higher values increase accuracy but take more time. Start delay here, this is measured in heartbeats. If you enter 30, Spooky 2 will start the sweep, giving you the time taken by your heart to beat 30 times to get ready. Then let's check the detect way here. You can use max BPM or max HRV or minimum BPM, minimum HRV. Max BPM is recommended for finding killing frequencies. BPM is beats per minute. Minimum BPM is recommended for finding healing frequencies. Max HRV is used for both. And HRV means heart rate variability. In most cases, selecting max BPM is the recommended setting, unless you are specifically looking only for problems associated with organ or system malfunctions. Let's check the calculate using here. Running average, it is best for longer scans where the heart rate falls and remains steady. Peak, best for short scans where the rate is unlikely to change very much. 2dp max. This control is used only when you use biofeedback scanning for program optimization. Single scan. Tick list and spooky 2 will scan once with no re-inspection. If this is untick, the scan time would be very long. Grade program. It tests database programs for efficacy. After you enter in the parameters, you can start the scan by clicking this button, not the start button here, it's the scan button here. And if I click start, as I have not connected a spooky pulse, so the software told me that pulse is not detected and it is emulating spooky pulse now. You can see it shows the BPM and HRV here, also their average number. This is the pulse graph, and it is where a graph depicting how your heart rate changes in response to the sweep is shown. I'm using the test mode now. After the scan is finished, the scan results are saved to a CSV file in the scan data subdirectory inside the Spooky2 directory. Any other questions about biofeedback scan, you can check the blog in our website. Okay, thanks for watching this video.